As you advance through your career, presentations will become an integral part of your job and it will start in university. We, the Chapman Learning Commons assistants, have a few tips to share in regard to designing a clear and efficient presentation. There are many types of presentations that can be designed in many different ways. Some of these you might be familiar with, such as a TED Talk style presentation for communicating conceptual ideas, a project report to summarize research findings, or a poster to visually illustrate your research. But there are some key features you need to keep in mind when designing any presentations, and we'll take a look at that in this video. Before we dive in, I want to ask a quick question. What's the first thing on your mind when preparing a presentation? Pause the video and give it a quick thought. Now that you've thought about it, let's dive into this video and expand these concepts. The most important factor is knowing your audience and choosing the tone and style such that it caters to them. If you're presenting to a professor and classmates taking the same courses as you, spend less time focusing on basic explanations. This frees up time to make big picture connections and exhibit more creativity. Or, if you're at a school event attended by students or folks not familiar with the subject matter, you might have to spend more time building an understanding of your topic before making larger connections. Here are some helpful questions to think about before you get started. What content is your audience looking for or interested in? How much do they know about the subject of your presentation? What is the best connection between what you're presenting and what the audience is looking for? For your next step, it's important to have a concrete plan to execute your presentation. Create an outline, keeping in mind the following. Correlate each slide to the main point that you're covering. Ensure the majority of the information is being conveyed verbally rather than just written on the slide. If you're designing a poster, pick the data figures that capture your results and are easily understood by the audience. Some ways to present your data could include the following graphs. Line graphs are good to visualize trends over a period of time in a concise way. Bar charts are for comparing different values, especially when some of these are broken into categories. Pie charts are used for visualizing proportions. They're more intuitive than listing percentages. Now let's go over some general tips on what to include when designing a presentation. Here the background color is too bright and we cannot see the title. Here, this looks much better. General tip number one is to select a contrasting and legible color scheme. Avoid packing your slides with too much text. Don't give your audience too much to read or they get exhausted. Try instead to use bullet point form, short sentences, simple words, and convey a couple of points per slide, like what we're doing right now. Include humor in your presentation as a check to ensure that the audience is still with you. You want to make meaningful connections without taking away from the seriousness of the matter that you're presenting. Keep them interested by finding common ground, perhaps a reference from a joke made in class, or using popular memes, like this one. A good image speaks a thousand words, so choose wisely. Consider the text, font, size, color, and maintain strong contrast between your slide and the image. It should be visually appealing enough for the audience to want to look at but not too packed with text and images such that it distracts them from what you're trying to say. And last but not least, use minimal transitions. These add time to your presentation, and you want attention on your content rather than your animations. If you keep these points in mind when designing your presentation and follow the steps systematically, it will ensure that you're putting out the most important information and presenting in the most engaging way possible. Thank you, and good luck. This video is one of many student toolkits created by the Chapman Learning Commons at the University of British Columbia. To learn more about the ways to excel at university, take a look at the Learning Commons website at learningcommons.ubc.ca or come visit the Chapman Learning Commons help desk at the third floor of the Irving K. Barber Learning Center when we're open.